Hello and welcome! This is Melskinner, and we're back with some more Into the Breach. And we've done three battles so far, and now I have to choose my next one. So, I would like to get more Power Grid back, because in my first battle, I made some mistakes and lost some Power Grid that I'd like to get back. Otherwise, it looks like we're just getting Corporate Reputation. So, defend the tanks, we get two for that. I'm not exactly sure what that entails. Block Vex spawning three times, and protect the clinic. And then we have Do Not Kill the Volatile Vec and Protect the Emergency Batteries. Let's go with this one. This one sounds like it's going to be challenging, though. These Volatile Vec don't have the courtesy to simply die. They explode and damage entire regions. Drive it away. But whatever you do, don't kill it. All right, well, we'll let's try. Well, we haven't seen it yet. Uh, these are just Scorpions, which are... Things we've seen before so let's go ahead and deploy this guy fairly close because i do want to go over and punch this guy because he does uh oh okay i see volatile vec let's click on him see what he's all about so he works just like a normal scorpion it looks like but he also has explosive decay explodes on death dealing one damage to adjacent tiles looks like normally he's gonna have quite a bit of health but he has that buff from this guy. Still, I think we put the combat mech uh, right in, kind of in the front lines. Maybe we can get to this guy. And I'll put the tank fairly close up. What does being in the woods do for me? I'm out of curiosity, because there is a little symbol there. I'm going to have to take a look at that. And we'll put the artillery mech a little bit further back. Firm. Okay, so mission start. Corporal Rescue Craft designated Time Pod has been detected. That pod, we need what's inside. This pod contains equipment from the future. You can collect it with your mech or just defend it until the end of the battle. Okay. Alright, so we just need to stop this damage so far. Alright, first things first. What is the woods... Bonus objectives this, in this mission is... Do not let this Vec die. Okay, we're just going to need to keep him off of buildings and things. Alright, so what does uh, being in the woods do for us? I will light on fire when damage... Okay, so it's just letting you know that you're kind of standing possibly on fire. So I'm going to go collect this and kill this guy all in the same turn. He flies, so I can't push him into the water or anything, so... Okay, and then we'll punch him to death. Blowing everybody's health. Let's go ahead and move to here. And we will shoot this guy away from the building. And then if I can, I'll do more damage to him. I kind of would want to uh, push him. But I think we just do the damage because I may be able to kill him later. If I could have pushed him into water, it'd be nice. Okay, so we've already protected the time pod. Um, well, that's bad. We can still push him away, though. Okay. Well, first things first. Let's try and push away the, the guy that explodes. So I'm going to move here. And... We'll push him away. That also pushes this guy away, which means he won't hit the building. So, that's good. Okay. Then we'll move to here, and we'll push this guy into the water. At least that's the idea. I think that still counts. And then all we have to do is punch him, and he should go away. Uh, I, mean, I won't be able to kill him this turn, but he won't be able to hit me either. Okay, so far so good. Okay, so we're going to need to push him off of that. Okay, well, 
This is a little bit more challenging of a situation. I can push both of these guys off so they're not going to do any damage. And then I just use my, my weapon here to push that one away so he's not destroying the building. It won't kill him because he's got plenty of health still left over. I think that's what we're going to end up having to do. Um, unfortunately, I won't be able to stop this from landing. Uh, I can kill this guy, no problem. But see, I can't move, so... Alright, I still think this is the right move. So, I'll move to here. Then we'll shoot here, knocking both these guys away from the building. They're not going to do any damage there. Then we just shoot here, to knock him away. And then here kill this guy, I'm going to have to tank the damage. There's not a whole lot I can do about it. Oh, and that stopped the spawn, too, so that's cool. It will do damage. I didn't even think to do that. That's actually pretty cool. Let's see how that works. But we did take damage there. And then he just blocked the enemy, which did damage to him. Okay, so we have the same issue there. Now right, we should be able to push this guy into the water, so I'm not too worried about him. Okay. So... Unfortunately, I can't stop all of the damage. But I can sure kill as many of these guys as I can. So that guy's done. Move to here. Punch this guy, killing him. And then I have to pick one to uh, knock away. Um, this building's worth more, so... We'll push him away. Uh, and unfortunately, we're going to lose that one. Um, but if I... if I, It sucks, but if I get the Volatile Vec uh, still alive at the end of this, then... I get that power grid back. So... Yeah, it's just one of those things, you just, you know, you can't do everything, but... There's a lot of unused space in this region's uh, nature preserves. We'll begin moving refugees here, now that the Vec are gone. Alright. So, we did protect the Time Pod. Now, I don't know what that's going to do for us. Let's find out. Let's open the door. Get a reactor core, okay. Uh-oh. Warning, Hive Leader. Drawn out by your offensive against the Vec, the Hive Leader is assaulting the corporate HQ. So it looks like we have to go take care of that. Um, now I have a reactor core. Open a max upgrade screen and install it. You could use this button to install reactor cores and a mech. Each core will increase the mech's maximum reactor power by one. All right, well, this guy's been pretty good for us, and I want to get this dash attack if I can, because that seems pretty good. I mean, it pushes them, and it does a lot of damage, and it, it covers a lot of ground. But let's see what else we've got. We could do more damage, which would push... Uh, well... The problem with that is it takes a lot of... This could be useful as well. I mean, it's going to be able to push a lot of the bad guys off. I honestly think we have to go with the dash. The problem is I only have one reactor core. So honestly, I think we just save it until we for sure are going to use it, because uh, otherwise, I just, I don't know. Let's just do it so that we know what what to, what we're doing here. So we'll make buildings immune. All right, weapon modification. You, you can use reactor power to activate weapon modifications. Click on a mod to power it. You can always click again to remove the power if you want to put it elsewhere. So I'm assuming that we can't, oh, uh, we can undo. So we would do that. I mean, okay, we'll do that. I mean, that's no no problem. Okay. I like it. Let's go to the corporate HQ. So we have to destroy the Firefly leader and protect the corporate tower. Doesn't allow me to do um, these other ones. So it looks like when you're doing an island, you kind of have to decide what it is that you want to do. And maybe making a beeline for the artifact vaults would have been a good idea because it looks like these are now destroyed. Okay. Well, now we've learned that. Some kind of VEC abomination is approaching our headquarters. Wherever it is, it must be stopped. So we've got the... Uh, 
Okay. So this is going to be the Firefly leader. I mean, if we can push him into water, he'll die instantly, right? Because he doesn't uh, fly. So let's see what he's got going for him, though. So he's got Burning Thorax. He attacks from both the front and the rear. You know, these units are the most powerful vac immune to water. Oh, okay. They can be more challenging to kill, so we can't just push him into the water. I guess that makes a certain amount of sense. All right, well, uh, this is going to be a tough one, but... Uh, Massive units can walk in water. Good to know. Okay. So let's do our, our thing here. I think we put our combat guy here because he has an opportunity of maybe pushing some guys into water. Okay, our uh, tank I'm going to put... Put over here. The artillery I'll put here kind of in the middle so we can do various things. He's trying to attack a building. That guy's trying to attack me. Ugh. Okay. Well, uh... Okay, inspect units. When confronted with enemy, uh, new enemies, be sure to learn about their abilities. Hold down left control while mousing over units to examine them. Okay. I mean, we already kind of checked that out, so... All right, well, now we have a bit of a challenge uh, ahead of us because if I attack this guy, I'm going to actually push him into more buildings. Uh, like, you know, if I attack him here, I'm pushing him that way, he's going to just still hit the building. So, hmm. Now, this guy, I can move here and I can push this guy into the water, which would prevent him from doing damage to any buildings. So, that would be good. Could move here. Push him that way. He'd be standing on top. I mean, he'd still do damage to buildings, so. I mean, I, I think we have to reduce the damage. I don't have that much power grid, so. The more damage we reduce, I think the better off we'll be. Let's go ahead with this. Ah, so his attack's canceled because he's in water. And what happens if I push him off of the map? Is that even possible? I mean, I can't avoid the damage, so uh, let's just see what happens. Okay, he doesn't move anywhere. Okay, good to know. I think I have to uh, block this damage, so we'll move up and we'll uh, punch him. So I'm going to take the damage, but, uh... Okay, he took a little bit more damage because of the fire. Oh. Whoops. Okay. Well, I think I can take care of a lot of this. So, uh, unfortunately, I've, I've taken a lot of damage here. But I'll move here, and we'll punch this guy into the water. Um, this guy should just die to the fire. So, in this case, we'll move to where we can do damage to this flying guy. Oh, wait, hold on. That's not a good plan. Let's shoot here. Then move here. Then do that. We're gonna take another shot here. Or he's just gonna die to the fire. Okay, that works for me. Wow, he does four damage. Amazing. Okay, I still have a mission to destroy him, so... Maybe I should get on that. Okay.
So if I punch here, they won't do damage to any buildings. This guy's on fire. What's the deal with that? You know, it's on fire, take one damage at the start of every turn. So he will eventually die. What I want to do, I think, is bring the tank over. And attack here. I mean, we do want to eventually kill this guy. So what I can do to do that would be nice. I could finish this guy off. And just stay where I am. That will kill him. Alright, I'll go for that. We've got two turns to kill this guy. I don't know if I'm going to be able to pull that off. Maybe if I get my uh, combat mech over here, I'll be able to do that. Well, that's unfortunate. So I'm going to die here, I think. Not unless I can push him away. I mean, here I can push this guy into the fire and he'd die. So, there's that. Um, I could move here and then uh, use the bomb. Yeah, okay. So, I think my plan here is I move to here. I shoot, knocking him away. So, he won't do damage to my, my other guy anymore. Uh, then I move... Uh, here, and I, or here, I'm trying to prevent this damage. Oh, I can do that. Oof. I was going to say I could do it if I direct, uh, fired directly here, but no, that's not going to do it. So, another choice is to try and knock this guy away, and then I could just turn and punch this guy. So in that case, I'd have to move to here, and I'd have to drop it. I don't see, then that's the problem. I drop it here. Um, I could drop it here. Oh, will it let me do that? Okay, yeah, we can kill him. Okay, and then this guy. I didn't stop this damage, and I meant to. Well, we need to kill this guy, and... I don't have a lot of time to do it. So should I focus on that? I could run over here, kill this guy. And then... Maybe next turn we'll be able to do enough damage to this guy? We'll try. So we're going to lose a little bit of power grid here. There's nothing I could do about it. Okay, well, unfortunately... That was the wrong call. Because the one turn, alright. Well, now I know. With the Abomination still alive, the Vec remain a serious threat to this region. I hope you find more success on the other islands. So we didn't manage to kill the leader. I probably should have maybe focused on that a little bit more, but... Alright. We did manage the, to secure the island, which, you know, does give us an achievement. I don't know where we are on the other, um... What I managed to do with the other achievements is if I managed to get coins or not. I, I wasn't paying too close of attention to that. Let's see about the uh, spending reputation here. So, did we manage to get five? So, let's see what we've got. Prime class weapon. Stab multiple tiles and push the furthest hit tile. Well, that sounds pretty ga damn good. Smoke pellets. Science class weapon. Surround yourself with smoke to defend against nearby enemies. Okay, freeze yourself in nearby tiles. See, the problem with this, though, is it requires two power to even use. Okay, brute class weapon. Get a projectile that phases through objects. I mean, that sounds pretty damn good. Uh, and as a matter of fact, it is only one default power. Okay, what else we got? Reactor cores are used to upgrade your mechs between missions. So I could grab this, and then I could get a reactor core, and that should be enough to power it. 
Um, many weapons and pilots for reputation. So, what I would imagine we do here, we buy this. I don't know if you have to spend it all at once. And we can also repair the grid power, which might be a good idea. All right, well, this is what I think I'm going to do. I'm going to grab one of these. Uh, I shouldn't need this anymore. So, buy one of these. We donate the Titan Fist. Because, uh, you know, as far as I understand, we only get one weapon. Again, I don't know if we um, can come back here. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the grid power. I'm going to hit continue, and I'm going to see if it will let me uh, come back to the screen or not. Because if, if I can, I might want to replace this item. Uh, or, you know, whatever. Okay, so we have a new weapon. I'm assuming that... Wrong class. Wrong class. So it has to be on him. Oh, okay, so we can't have two attacks. All right. Not powered, but that's something we could use maybe in the future. So we could get rid of this if we wanted to. Um, now, as far as the reactor core, I think we do go ahead with uh, installing it here. And then not powered, powered. I mean, because this is the better attack right now than that. But this has the potential of giving me dash, which is a pretty cool ability. So... All right, I kind of get the idea of a little bit of how the mechanics work. And we could go back to the spend reputation if we wanted to. So, you know, that's where I could get rid of the Titan Fist because I can't currently use it uh, until I get more reactor power. And then I could use that to repair my grid or whatever. But I think for now, we're going to go ahead and put a cut in the video. So I hope you guys have enjoyed. This is Mouse Gunner, signing out.